Like many tutorials I make, this one started from a bit of a crisis. The new power amp came out for Android, and it's a music application that I've used for many years, and it does about 80% of what I wanted, and I was complacent. I'm typically more persnickety. The new version came out, some people like it, but it is incredibly bubbly. I don't like the interface at all. Uh, it seems like some of the features uh, are harder to get to. And so I went on a journey and you guys will reap the fruits of this journey with me. Today, I'm gonna show you guys the absolute best, and there is only one, the absolute best Android music player. And when you need a website, I direct people over to Squarespace. It's a really clean and elegant way to make a web page that doesn't look like my first web page. You can grab a domain name, anything you like, and they have a lot of different options to choose from. After that, you can come and pick out your template. You can look at several different examples. If you need a store, they can do that here. They have ShipStation integrated for easy shipping. They have all the credit card stuff set up. So the only thing you have to do is get your products uploaded. So let's preview this one, shall we? You can see what it is. You can start with this one, test it out. You can add new elements and also up here in the top, you can check out how it's going to look uh, on different devices. If you want to get very nerdy, you can get under the hood with Get Access. Whole idea here is that the content is what matters. You can really create a website that's driven specifically by your content. Now, if you guys want to move over from, say, another domain provider or another hosting company like GoDaddy, it's really easy. Their DNS tools are quite nice. Right now, you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Just go to squarespace.com slash tech syndicate. And be sure to say thanks to Squarespace in the comments for sponsoring this video. When I am looking for a music player, there are several key factors that I need. Number one, I really like uh, to be able to view by album artist. And the reason for this is a lot of people have compilations. Like if you've got the initial D soundtrack or something like that, you're gonna have 15,000 different artists. And if your phone will only show the artist and not the album artist, each one of those is gonna be a separate you know, folder with just that one song in it. Whereas album artist puts them all together into a compilation and the album artist will be like initial D. So that's a must have. Another must have is I like to be able to select my own folders. I don't want to use the Android default music library because the music library on Android, it's kind of generic. It just kind of, you know, it grabs everything and it has no support for album artist. Other than that, I wanted uh, you know, a nice style. And uh, I like to be able to see the year of the album that it came out. Now that's not something that many of these do. In fact, I think only one or two of them actually does this. But a lot of times if I have a, you know, a, a band and I'm like, oh, I really wanted to listen to their album from 2015. What was that one called? And I'm looking at my phone and there's like 10 different albums. I'm like, uh, I think it's this one. And I end up clicking on the one from 2013. And then I have to jump off a bridge. So this is going to save me from jumping off a bridge. There are several different options out there. And I tried just about all of them. And I deleted more than you guys see here on the screen. So let's start off with a couple that are nice. And then we'll get to the real one. There's really only one king. But, you know, I started with FUBAR because it's my favorite thing on Windows. But it is, at least it supports album artists. But it is not ready for prime time at all on Android. Vinyl is is pretty, I'll give it that. And it has decent functionality, but it, it didn't have everything I wanted. Uh, Pi also gets an honorable mention. If you just want a player that, you know, looks decent, doesn't have a lot of nonsense, it's pretty good. But right now I'm gonna show you the one, and that's Black Player. So the interface is very sleek and elegant. So you can browse by album artist, like I said, and check this out, let's do Primordial. Now on the bottom there you see all my albums and the date 2011 2007 1998 and then here is the view while the song is actually playing just so you guys can see that also browsing by genres is nice and where do all these pictures come from did i have to install these no it actually syncs up with last fm and sometimes you'll have a band uh, that has a name that's kind of generic and there'll be multiple bands let's say uh, you get a band and that's the wrong photo or long press and then you can come and set the album artist manually that is not artifact <laughs> that is some indie rock band. And right here on the bottom, I'll even give you a summary telling you about the band. So there's so much information here, but it's all easy to get to and it doesn't get in the way. Oh, it even, it even found me. So I actually did not put this picture in there. That came from Last FM, automatically synced up to the phone. So there's all the album artists and these will sync up just as you're on, if you can set it up to be on Wi-Fi or whatever. Let's talk about the library. So the audio library on this one, you can use the Android audio library. So if you want to just have everything, you can do that. But you can also use the Black Player custom library, and then you can go in and set the exact folders that you want. Let's talk about no media for just a second. Android works by creating a lot of databases, or at least a lot of the programs do. So like your, your gallery for your photos and stuff like that. That will go and create a database of all of the pictures on your phone. 
So sometimes if you're popping into Instagram or one of your other things, you'll have just a flood of album art. And you're like, where did all this album art come from? Well, you can avoid that by putting a dot no media file into the folder that you do not want indexed. So I always put one of those into my music folder. And what happens is the Android music library, well, sometimes it's like, I, I don't know what's in there because there's a no media folder in there. So it doesn't even index the music. However, Black Player will allow you to select the folders and ignore the no media file. It's a really handy feature that, that not a lot of um, different players have. So this supports playlists, of course. But let me show you the recently added. A lot of different players out there have a recently added that'll be just a list of all the different songs that you've recently added. This one goes a step farther and it adds uh, the recently added albums. So you can see, oh, here's the albums that I've just added to my device. And usually when you're throwing stuff, you know, from your computer onto your device, those are the ones you want to listen to. So you just go to recently added and click on album. And there you go. Now we can listen to some Firewalk with me. As far as the um, settings go, you have decent control over the theme. You can even pick your accent color and that sort of thing. You'll have more control over your theme and more control over different colors and that sort of thing in a Black Player EX. But uh, this video, I'm not really going to show that much. Now the interface, you can view as a grid or, you know, you can view it as a list or whatever. That's what a list looks like. I think the grid looks nicer. It's easier for me to, you know, see, oh, that's the album I'm looking for. But if you're someone who prefers a list, then you can do it that way. The metadata area is uh, where you can get kind of nerdy. And here's your library settings where you can come in and manually select the folders. But you guys don't need to see that. Some of these little touches are nice. Um, it can merge albums. Sometimes the albums will have a, a different, uh, you'll have a bunch of songs in the same folder, but one of them will accidentally have the wrong year in the metadata or something like that. And it'll accidentally get put into multiple, you know, albums or something like this. This one has an album merge strategy where you can go in and say like, hey, if it's got the same title and the same and they're in the same folder, just put them in as the same album. So sometimes you'll end up uh, getting your ringtones in there and stuff, especially if you're using the Android music player. You can come in and you can hide the uh, small artist and you can also hide songs with duration of less than 20 seconds to remove all of that. Next up, this supports the internet content like I was telling you from uh, last FM. If you put a check mark on that, it will download album art and it will also download artist information and artist photos straight from last FM. And down here, you can just one click after you've imported to download all your, you know, your artist images and all that sort of thing and all your album covers and whatnot. Last up, this supports scrubbling. I find it troubling that you don't know about scrubbling. So what this is, is it syncs up with last FM plus a few different open source alternatives out there in the market. And what you can do is it will actually send some information to a scrubbling program. What does that mean? Well, it basically keeps a list on your last FM profile of all the songs that you've played. Let's say you played a song earlier in the day and you're like, what was that one song? I really liked it. You can just go over to last FM and get a list of all the stuff that you played. Otherwise it has a very nice widget. So let's show you what the widget looks like. I like to use this large widget, but several other widgets out there that you can, that you can choose from. But overall, it's got everything I want, even a nice widget. And, and I like everything's very minimal and clean. They've kind of gone with the material style on a lot of this stuff. So for me, there really is no other player. Black Player does everything, and the free version does more than most paid versions out there. So you guys can grab just Black Player. If you want to go for Black Player EX and get a few additional features and some more theming options and that sort of thing, by all means, do it. And the other thing that's nice is this program is only getting better. Every time they update the app, there's new features. I remember a few months ago, it was like, oh man, it doesn't have support for selecting your own folders. It only works with the Android music library. And all of a sudden they've got the Black Player music library. And all of a sudden now they've got folder selections. And then you can do the, the thing where you make sure that there's no media and all that. It's, it's ridiculous how fast this one is developing uh, in comparison to some of the others. And it's developing in smart ways. It's got a clean interface um, and it does everything that you need it to do. The only thing that I think it could add to make it like the best thing ever is I would love for it to be able to sync up with my NAS in some way, add FTP support, add some sort of a streaming support. Uh, and that way I can like roll around listening to all the tunes that are on my NAS as well as all the tunes that are on my phone. I still use a, sep a separate program for that. Uh, I've got the, you know, the Synology NAS. So I use the Synology software and that works just fine for that. But it's a little frustrating to have two apps to bounce back and forth. Um, I don't think that's a, you know, really a deal breaker at all. It's just something that not many of the apps out there on the market do well. But all in all, it is the one app that you all need to be using for music. If you guys have any questions, throw them over in the forum. And right now, go out and grab yourself a t-shirt. And uh, guys, these videos are paid for 
by the hardware that we make. So you guys can go check out our hardware. This is a 3360 based gaming mouse called the Fennec Swift. Head over to epicpants.com or you can go on Amazon and get to Amazon Prime, you know, free two day shipping. So check it out over there. That supports our videos while we're supporting your gaming habits. Isn't that nice? See you guys in the comments.